In late 2024, I quit doing astrophotography from my backyard and I relocated my equipment to a remote observatory nearly 500 miles away from home. And although I really enjoy taking images from completely dark skies, I also really missed the hands-on experience of setting up equipment in my own backyard and enjoying a night of astrophotography right here. And I get to do that once again because I just got my very first smart telescope. So join me as I continue my journey capturing deep space. It's no secret that astrophotography is a very expensive hobby. In addition to the cost, there's a steep learning curve mastering the hardware and the software to edit the images. But with the rise of smart telescopes like my Dwarf 3 here, astrophotography has become significantly more accessible because some of these smart telescopes cost significantly less than a traditional astrophotography setup. And these telescopes are made to be easier to use. I connect to my Dwarf 3 using nothing more than the Dwarf Lab mobile app, and it has a user interface that was relatively easy for me to learn. For this being my first smart telescope, it personally exceeded my expectations of what a smart telescope should do and the Dwarf 3 is definitely capable of doing more than just traditional nighttime astrophotography and I want to show you by stepping outside and taking some images of the sun because this telescope includes a magnetic detachable solar filter. I already have the app launched on my phone so I'm going to get started by tapping on the icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen and I'm going to tap the up arrow to get the sun in position of the wide angle camera. Once I do that, it should pop up on my telephoto display. There it is. I'm gonna tap on the icon on the upper left to minimize the wide angle display and I'm gonna try to center the sun on the telephoto display. Now I'm gonna tap on the astro icon and I wanna show you this because by default, when you first launch the app, it's gonna be on photo mode. So when you get here, make sure you're on astro mode and then tap on the function icon and go to Atlas. We're going to tap the search bar here and I'm going to search for the sun. It'll come up on the Atlas, tap on the camera icon. It's going to give me a prompt to place a dwarf on a flat level surface, ensure that ND filters are applied and that the sun is in the center of the telephoto view. Since the dwarf isn't tracking yet, the sun has moved out of position slightly, so I'm going to tap on do it now. I'm going to reposition the sun. And now I'm going to tap on start tracking. The dwarf's going to make some adjustments to start tracking the sun. It should be more or less in the middle of the screen, and there it is. So now that we got this taken care of, I'm going to tap on function again. Parameter. And my shutter speed is 1 3200th of a second. By default, it's going to be set to auto, but this is my recommendation if you want to get details on the solar surface. And the gain is usually at 2 by default as well for solar imaging. And the count will be at 999, but I reduce it down to 20. So we don't need that many shots for a stacked image of the sun. And I want to do a stacked image because I want to get details on the solar surface. So now that I have my parameters set, I'm going to tap on function. Then I'm going to tap on the shutter icon and the session is going to begin. Okay, my session is complete. 20 images were stacked into one. And if you noticed from the sped up video, I was zooming in and out on the sun just to make sure I was getting those details that I was expecting. So I'm gonna end the current session and I'm gonna tap on the album icon to look at my result. And this is straight out of the telescope. I'm still going to export this image into my computer so I can do some additional processing. And I'm gonna show you the results of that image right now compared to what I got straight from the telescope. In my next video, I'll demonstrate how I use the Dwarf 3 for nighttime astrophotography. 
I wanted to do it in this video, but time constraints and the weather have been against me and I was eager to share my experience with my first smart telescope. So be on the lookout for that next video. Until then, take care of yourselves and I wish for you clear skies.